Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at depth of field and DSLR effects in Face Filter 3. So to start off I have this image of these uh, little streams of light here. And uh, we're going to go directly into the effects section here and get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the depth of field effects section here. And you can see this, this brings up a depth of field guide on how to uh, mask out your foreground and background uh, using different tools. You can uh, read more into that later if you'd like. Let's press OK for now. And it'll open up our masking tools panel, which we don't need, need for right now because I'm just going to apply a single layer effect. We're not going to have a background and foreground right now. So I'm just going to go directly into the uh, background uh, folder here. And you can see that there's a number of different templates you can apply. I'm just going to apply a uh, Boca Heart template. And you can see that the effect that that will have on my after image there. The, uh, near the top of the image is a strong bokeh effect and uh, those streams of light are transformed into uh, little faded heart shapes. Uh, and you can see that the effect is a lot stronger at the top than it is at the bottom. And the reason for that is uh, if you go into our background tab here, you can see that uh, we have a depth pattern here. And the depth pattern is set to a linear gradient right now. If I set it to, uh, to flat, That'll cover the entire image with the same strength of the effect. If I go back to uh, linear and I go into my gradient settings here, you can see exactly where that uh, gradient is being applied. So for example, if I swing it over to the right here, the effect will be a lot stronger on the right side of the image. And I, I can also um, bring the strength down a little bit further. You can see that uh, now this area will be more strongly affected. And you can just bring the total area down as well. Um, really depending on uh, what you want to do with your image so you can go wild on your own time. But for now I'll just uh, close out of this right now. You can also change the uh, the bokeh uh, shapes as well. You can change it to the snowflakes, bunny ears, um, musical notes, butterflies, all that stuff. Um, and we also have our standard uh, brightness, contrast, hue saturation, color balance as well. You can also select the amount of the strength of the uh, bokeh effect by uh, adjusting the aperture level here. If I bring that uh, down you can see that it becomes a lot lot sharper, um, barely even noticeable, uh, the shapes. If we bring it uh, up, if we bring it up here a little bit more, you can see that the effect will become a lot more apparent. Oops, mouse slip there. Bring it up a little bit more, you can see the effect, uh, the butterflies will become a lot larger and more apparent. All right, so uh, that's uh, what I wanted to show you for the uh, bokeh effects. And I'm gonna load in another image here and show you exactly how uh, depth of field effects work in Face Filter 3. So I'll load up in this uh, image of this kid just sitting on the uh, on the sidewalk here. Now we're, we're going to apply, uh, we're going to actually mask out the foreground in this as well. So I'll go into the effects section, depth of field again. And with our masking tools now, I'm going to increase the hardness. And I want to mask out the, uh, the kid here, the shape of the kid. So I'm just going to give a rough, rough shape around the edges here. <laughs> just give him a general, general mask here. Doing a pretty, pretty terrible, pretty awful job here of masking, but uh, we're going to be using a, a quick edge tool, which will hopefully uh, um, do a lot of the work for me. So there we go. We're just going to keep that the way it is, and we're going to use this uh, quick edge tool here. And what this will do is this will calculate exactly uh, where the edges of the image subject are. So hopefully in a couple seconds here we'll get a fairly accurate uh, picture. There we go. You can see there's a, there's a couple of rough edges here. You can of course feather that out. Um, I can maybe just erase this uh, area around his head here. Um, seem to think that that plank was part of his hair. Let's uh, take that out for now. That should be good enough uh, just for this uh, for this tutorial. And um, what I'm going to do now is go back into depth of field effects here, and I'm going to select background again, and we can select uh, a defocus template. So I'm going to select defocus high, and you'll see that the uh, the defocus will apply in the same pattern as, as the uh, bokeh effect applied previously. So if I go into background, and for example I select uh, flat, you'll see that the effect that that will have. So basically, uh, it's a very like uh, unrealistic uh, depth of field effect. And the reason for that being is because we have this linear plane along the, uh, along the bottom here where the boy is sitting. And uh, we want to make that um, more in focus as it gets closer to the camera. So I'm going to go back into the uh, linear pattern here. And again, go into the uh, gradient settings, and we'll just bring our the direction of our gradient um, to be symmetrical with the uh, with the plane here. So uh, I'll bring that down here like this, and we can adjust the level of effect a little bit more. 
That should be good. Maybe a little bit back. Um, you can total. This is totally up to you. Uh, the amount that you want to uh, apply. Uh, you can fool around with it as much as you want. But you can see there that now we have the uh, the area where the boy is sitting is a lot more in focus as compared to the uh, the area in the background, which is kind of the, the effect that we're going for here. All right, so you can uh, go wild with that on your own time. And that's basically how you can apply the uh, proper uh, defocus um, in certain areas. And you can, of course, adjust the opacity if you want the effect to be uh, less, uh, less apparent. And just, um, you know, Go wild on on your own time with this uh, with this kind of stuff. So uh, that's all I'll cover for uh, the uh, depth of field. I'm going to open up uh, one more image here. And I was say no, and we have this image of this uh, woman holding an apple here. And what we're going to what I'm going to do here is I'm going to also mask out the foreground and background, but I'm going to show you a different kind of effect here. So again, we'll go into depth of field effects, and we want to mask out this uh, apple here. So we'll go in close and. Uh, Oops, choose our brush first. And we'll select the, uh, as close as we can to the edges of this apple. The uh, part of the apple near the bottom is a little bit darker, so we'll want to get in there a little bit more accurately. And uh, something like that. Make sure that that's included in our quick edge as well. Make sure that her uh, finger is not included in that as well. There we go. That should be good, so we'll use our quick edge tool again. One more time. All right, so not that bad. We got the uh, apple in focus there, and we'll just close that down now. And what I'm going to go, go uh, what I'm going to do now is go into depth of field effects here, and choose a composite here. So a composite um, includes both the background and the foreground uh, effects. So I'm going to select this uh, gray window effect, and you can see what that does is it really masks out the uh, the background, fades out the background, uh, defocuses it, and the apple is still focused in the foreground. You can see that the, there's a little bit of sharp edges around the uh, focal area there. Uh, we can fix that with feathering as well. Um, what I'll do is I'll just select a uh, highlight subject one to show you another example. And you can see the example that that uh, has there. Once it loads up, um, we'll get rid of that sharpness around the edges there. All right, and um, if I wanted to, for example, I can also change the uh, color of our apple here. So if I go to uh, in the foreground, if I select uh, hue and saturation, maybe uh, change the uh, hue, you can change it to, uh, to a red apple or uh, whatever color we'd like. Increase or decrease the saturation, make it seem a little bit more ripe. So you can see the, uh, the effect that that will have on our, on our apples. So that's some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool things you can do uh, with face filter. Um, using depth of field and DSLR effects. Um, so if you have any questions, again, feel free to email me at developer at or check out our other tutorials on our YouTube channel.